this paper presents an approach to reconstructing a handheld object from a monocular video. Existing approaches mainly focus on the setting of scanning a static object with an RGB camera or depth sensor rotating around the object. This work investigates a different setting where the object is held by a moving hand in front of an RGB camera. This setting is very common in daily scenarios and more user-friendly. Some works follow a similar in-hand reconstruction setting. Enhanced scanning has strong reconstruction ability but requires a depth camera as the data capture device. Learning-based methods only use a single RGB camera but suffer from limited generalization ability. Our method is able to reconstruct a handheld object from a monocular RGB camera without knowing any object prior. The input of our setting is a video captured by a static RGB camera. The output is the joint hand object reconstruction and separated object. This problem has three challenges that make existing methods inapplicable. The dynamic hand object motion, the possible textureless objects, and heavy hand object occlusions. As a result, it is hard to estimate the relative motion between the object and camera using structure from motion or object pose tracking. Also, dense reconstruction of a textureless object from RGB images is a difficult problem. Our method starts with a dynamic video captured by a still camera. Note the relative motion between the hand and object is assumed to be small. We first do hand tracking by solving an optimization problem. The relative motion of the object and camera can be extracted from hand rotation and translation. Then, we get hand object segmentation maps by doing background matting first and then doing semantic segmentation. After that, we leverage differentiable SDF rendering to optimize the proposed hand object radiance field. Three additional modules are proposed. Notice the rendered semantic maps are better than input semantic maps. Given the learned neural radiance field, we use marching cubes to extract the 3D geometry of the hand and object. 3D semantic information is used to separate hand and object. After separating the hand and object, we use Poisson reconstruction to smoothly fill holes. Here we show some experimental results. Thanks for your watching.